Hello, today I am going to discuss about the basic introduction of process control theory. The picture showing here is about the closed loop control system, where it consists of different blocks. It has final control element, process, measurement device, and controller. Controller can be a positioner. VFD, variable frequency drive, and so on. Measurement device is an instrument. For example, temperature transmitter, level transmitter, flow transmitter, and so on. Process can be any process. Final control element, for example, is control valve or motor that control the process. Okay, this is the input of the process. This is the output of the process. Okay, final control element. What is final control element? Final control element regulates or control the flow of material to a process by adjusting valve opening through which the material flow. Controller. A controller is a device that compares and feedback input process variable signal to an input setpoint value. Meaning, this is a controller that compares the process variable that measured by the instrument in the field to the setpoint. Okay? And then it will compute, mean calculate the error, the input error, and sends a correcting signal or output signal to a final control element okay in this case usually a control valve measurement device measurement device is a few instrument that measure the process variable and send a feedback process variable signal to the controller for example level transmitter it means measurement devices is just an instrument for example maybe level transmitter you measure the reading okay so this reading we call it process variable and feedback to the controller okay okay this picture show you a very simple process which is a temperature process okay so the purpose of this process is to get the hot water a certain temperature so this picture show you the cold water will flow into a heat exchanger and then the hot water will come out of the heat exchanger our purpose is to produce the hot water at a certain set point temperature okay so if let's say the set point for the temperature controller is about 50 degrees Celsius so if the temperature transmitter of the measurement device that measure the hot water temperature in the process line is about 40 degree the temperature controller will be able to compare this set point which is 50 degree to the process variable that feedback from the measurement device which is 50 degree the input error of 10 degrees Celsius will be feedback to the controller and controller the, the controller algorithm will perform the necessary modulation, tuning, and calculation and produce a necessary output signal to the actuator of the control valve, which is the final control element. And this will cause the control valve opening changes and will cause the necessary amount of steam flow through the line. And this will cause the changes in the heat exchange between the cold water and the steam line and produce a hot water with a temperature reading match with the set point reading all right okay control loop terminology error error is the difference between the measure variable and set point measure variable is a process variable input all right feedback is a signal sent from the measurement devices which is an instrument for example level transmitter to the controller 
Final control element is a device that manipulate, meaning control, the process input to bring about changes in the control variable. Transmitter. Transmitter detects signal from measure variable and generate a corresponding signal for the system. Control valve. Control valve is actually a final control element. It regulates, meaning it controls the flow of material to a process by adjusting valve opening through which the material flow. Open loop, or sometimes people call it program control. This is a simple process for open loop control okay actually what is the open loop control is very simple open loop means the loop is open meaning there is no feedback process variable feedback from the process to the controller meaning there is no few instrument such as temperature transmitter that measure the process and feedback the signal to controller this is open loop Open loop or program control is one in which the control action is independent of both the process input and output. Control action is based on prediction. However, no check is made on the process output because there is no measurement done in the process. <clears throat> Open loop control, example washing machine, oven. Closed loop feed forward control. Okay, what is closed loop? Closed loop means the loop is closed, meaning there is a process variable feedback to the controller, which is measured by the measurement device, meaning an instrument or transmitter located in the field site. Okay? Feed forward control. Feed forward means the measurement device measures the process reading at the process input. You see this? You see this is a process. Here is the input, here is the output. Alright. Closed loop feed forward control system is one in which the control action is determined by the process input. Measurement is taken from a process input. Closed loop feed forward control. As I mentioned earlier, closed loop means the loop is closed, meaning there is a measurement device or instrument, meaning the transmitter, that measure the value in the process line and feedback the process variable input to the controller okay in simple explanation it means there is no instrument there is sorry there is an instrument measure the process and feedback the signal to the controller this is called closed loop feedback means the measurement device measure at the process output this is called feedback control Closed loop feedback control system is one in which the control action is dependent on the process output. Measurement is taken from the process output. So that's it. Thanks.